up on it's Luke here and welcome back to a, another video. Now today I'm joined by this M140i. Now this thing looks absolutely ridiculous. Now it kind of originated life as a Motec edition, edition number one. Uh, but the owner, Noor, who I'll introduce you uh, to very shortly, has done loads of stuff to this. It's running, I think, 460 brake horsepower, which is unbelievable. But before I introduce you to him, I thought I'd just pop in here and say that this video is sponsored once again by BOTB, because you can win a Motec edition. Not this car, we were just having a joke off camera about <laughs> how we get so many messages saying, oh, is your, uh, is your car, uh, uh, can you win it through BOTB? Well, no, you can't, unfortunately, but you can win pretty much uh, this exact car but without all the modifications that he's put on afterwards. Now, terms and conditions, obviously. So the competition is worldwide. You only have to be 16 or over, so you don't even have to have a driving license to, to win a car, which is amazing. Um, there's a guaranteed winner every single week and tickets start at just 85p. Now, if you don't fancy the M140i, then they literally have over 150 cars on their site for you guys uh, to win. Uh, so you can have a flick through the website, have a look at all the cars, because there's obviously gonna be something there that, uh, that tickles your fancy. Now, tickets for the M140i are just two pounds and five P. And if you are lucky enough to win, then you'll also get 20 grand chucked in the boot in cash as well. So there's a link down in the description and down below for you guys to go check it out. You never know, today might be your lucky day. But anyway, let's introduce you guys to Noor, and then we have a whiz around the car and get out of this thing because it is a monster. Hello guys, my name is Noor and I'm the owner of this M140i. Um, I've currently had it for about 18 months now, so quite a long time, long as I've ever owned a car and I still love it to this day. We're just going to go walk around the car and just have show you a bit, little bit of the details of the car and, and what sort of modifications I've done to it. So from the front end you can see you've got a Maxon design front splitter and then you've also got the gloss black um, eyelids or eyebrows or whatever you want to call them. They look really cool. Not quite, quite the eyelashes yeah. that you get on some. Uh... Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, honestly, not like really... the 4K with yeah, yeah, eyelashes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think it, it just makes it adds that little bit of aggression to it. Sure, so yeah. I really like it. Going around to the side of the car, um, you've got the BMW M359 wheels with the Maxton design side skirts as well. I think it just adds to the car as well. Makes it look at that little bit more aggressive. Makes it look a little bit lower. Um, which is which is always mm, good. It sits nicely as well. Yeah, right no, exactly. Down. Yeah, no, uh, it's, it's on um, Motif Performance Dance Plus springs, um, and I think it sits really, really nicely. Um, it's not too low that it's scraping on everything, yeah, yeah. but also it's low enough that it, it looks aggressive, um, which is really good. Um, and then you've got the carbon fiber side mirrors. I love these. Yeah, so these are actual um, full uh, replacement of, you have to replace this entire thing here because on the standard ones, um, they don't, go down like that. This is like ah, an M3, M4 style. Yeah. So yeah. you have to change this entire thing. You also got um, dynamic um, sweeping um, side indicators. It's all about little touches. Yep. <laughs> yep. Trying to be a Golf R and Audi. Yeah. <laughs> so i uh, done that as well. You've got the M Performance decal as well. Yeah. Um, fitted uh, by TRL deals, Tony Lewis. So thank you so much to him. I really appreciate that so much. It, I think it, 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 it again, just adds to the car. It's yeah. little pieces that that really complete the car. Going around to the back, you've got a carbon fiber spoiler. Shimmering in the sunshine there, yeah, that looks exactly, class. Exactly, no, it, it looks, I think it looks a re really good. I think the standard one, um, it's just a little bit, a little bit small. Yeah. It doesn't add that aggression to it and I wanted to, to continue with the theme of aggression and make it a, a stand out a little bit more. So that's why I added that. And then you've also got tinted um, rear lights, light smoke on the rear lights. Um, they're not too dark. Um, it's because I didn't want it to be completely blacked out. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Light tint, um, sort of looks OEM. And then obviously you can't miss it. You've got the, you've got the Remus exhaust tips. Yep. And then it's got a Remus catback system um, with a downpipe. Which uh, sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it's all right. We drove to this location, <laughs> probably, well, it was about a 10 minute drive. And it, I'm blown away by this, no, it, the sound it, it of it. It does sound really good. But the, the main thing that I love about the Remus is that you can put it in comfort mode and it switches everything off. Yeah. And the car also changes the different mapping in the car. So it 
comes completely silent, so you don't have to know your neighbours. That's what I like. Don't <laughs> don't have to. I, you don't have to as much as you want to. <laughs> yes, yeah. you don't have to know your neighbours as much as you want to, like like Luke said. But um, you don't have to, which is good. Um, you've also got the black badges and the black um, yeah. ring around the BMW badge as well. Is this um, Maxim Design as well? Absolutely. So this is Maxim yeah. Design as well. So it's basically got it's basically got the Maxim Design full kit. So mm. front, sides, and back. So it's got the full kit from Maxim Design. And I've also got gel plates, which again, it's it's such a small mod, yeah. But it just adds that little bit. Extra. I've got them on mine as well. Yeah, I think they look really good. I now, power-wise, right. yes, 460 brake, 460 horsepower, and I think 730 newton meters, which is ridiculous. Quite a lot. <laughs> 730 newton meters. I think we should have a look under the bonnet because, well, not it's not only the uh, aesthetic mods; it's stuff under there as well. So yeah, definitely. Let's pop the hood and uh, have a look under there. Well, that is a big lump. It is. It's, it's not a two litre. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Luke. <laughs> so, talk to me what you've done under here then. Um, so, to be honest, um, power wise, you don't have to do a lot to these cars to get mm. quite a lot of power out of them. Um, it's running a stage two um, ECU map by Dervtech. Um, and then it's got an agency power uh, intake. And that's it, really. Apart from the downpipe that mm. we mentioned earlier, yeah, that's really it in terms of power-wise. Um, like I said, you don't really need to do much to it, yeah, to get the power. It's a very it. tunable car. Very, very tunable. I think a lot of people why a lot of people like these cars is because they're so tunable. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you well, added another 130, 120 horsepower yeah. over stock with yeah. under a grand's work. So um, that's mental. It's, it's really good in terms of of tuning, um, yeah. and it's it's a very very reliable engine i mean it's done twenty five thousand miles now and it's been solid with no issues at all no issues oh, whatsoever. Wicked. Well, that's, that's good to hear yeah. mate it's uh <laughs> it's a beast and we oh. haven't even filmed it moving yet <laughs> <laughs> it looks fast just sitting yeah somewhere. that's the thing it just it looks it looks mental is what it does no look, no I, I'm, I'm really happy with how it looks and how it's all come together into like yeah. one sort of good looking car it's not finished by all means. A build um, is never finished. Yeah, the build, uh, yeah, exactly. The build is never finished, but um, we're going to be doing stuff like more aggressive rear, rear diffusers, mm -hmm. um, the bars behind the grill wrap them, yeah, um, and just little pieces here and there. Nothing completely major. Nothing yeah. that will completely change the look of the car. But again, just those little pieces add yeah. to the entire effect. So, um, so that's it. That's 100%. my car. That's wicked. So I think it's pretty much time to, uh, well, hear how ridiculous this thing sounds because not only has it got a full Rima system, it's got a decat downpipe as well. So, Nor, when you're ready. to the road. Now, it's not just the outside which you've done modifications to, there's quite a lot inside as well. Yeah. Um, mainly that steering wheel which I'm in love with. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, th I think the steering wheel was, was the most expensive one part purchase I've ever done. Okay. Um, from It was from BMW and it was a thousand pound fitted. Really? Um, so it's quite a lot of money, yeah. so it's, it's, a, it's a big commitment and a big mod to make. Yeah. But I just think it adds so much excitement to yeah. like the overall drive when it's flashing and it's yeah, you got the, the like, lights, lights yeah. exactly, yeah. And also you've got information like yeah. water temperature, oil temperature, which is always good to have. Yeah. Um, especially when it be it tuned, you just you gotta make sure that yeah. everything's up to operating temperatures before throwing your foot down or sure. anything. I like all this as well, like how could is that standard? No. Is it not no, standard? Okay. No, it's, again this is all done aftermarket by myself. Um, so yeah, Alcantara there, you've got yeah. carbon fibre door handles, yeah. carbon, um, carbon here, yeah, carbon here, yeah. Alcantara here. It's uh, all very tastefully done. Yeah, thank you, no, <laughs> thank you so much, yeah, I mean, this, this is the whole purpose of it, I just, yeah. I don't want it to go overboard, Yeah. Um, but it's just like OEM Plus sort of thing. I was literally just about to say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, that, yeah. I think that, I think that's where the sweet spot is, uh, 
make it look nice but not overly done. Overly done, yeah. yeah it looks like it could have come out from the factory. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would have thought that was that was going to be factory. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. And he's on the red start stop button as well, which is cool. Red start stop button. So most most of this stuff I actually sell myself. You do, don't you? Yeah. yeah most of literally. So like all the carbon fiber pieces, um, all this, like the pad, the M2 paddles, this. Most of it I sell myself, so and that's through your Instagram, right? Yeah, just through my. So I just do it on the yeah. side. Link little... down below. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just do it on the side. It's, it's yeah. not my um, my full time job. Yeah. So just I, I enjoy doing it. So um, why not? Sort yeah, of why not? Yeah, exactly. Well, like I said, there was a link down below to not only your Instagram, but also uh, if you want to have a look at some of this stuff, because I'm yeah. sure that there's going to be some fellow well, M car owners yeah. watching this. Yeah, I mean, I do everything for everything, like even 845s. Mm. Um, M one forties, M one three five, two three five I, two forty, M two, M three, M four. Go far? Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Ooh. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be having a chat. <laughs> we, we shall. <laughs> no, mate. It's a proper special place to be. And yeah. even just cruising now, it's it's yeah. not unbearable. Like you said, when valves are closed. Exactly. This is exactly what I love about this yeah. car. Like, Usable. Yeah, it's, I don't want it to be always loud. I don't want it to be always annoying people and like mm. making pops and bangs and stuff like that. Um, sometimes, like when I finish work, I do just want to cruise just a nice cruise, silent music playing, and then yeah. we're all good. Um, but then I've got the option of if I want it loud, if I want it uh, shouty and larry, I can switch it up switch, a little bit. Um, like a switch button, and there you go. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll see that in a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Plenty to it because honestly, the journey we did before filming. The, every bang was like it was making me laugh <laughs> it was amazing no they are fun they are yeah. fun um, a lot of people they're very hit and miss with a lot of people a lot of people say they're a bit over the top yeah um, but that's what I like about having I can switch it off yeah exactly so if it yeah. is over the top it, you're probably right it is <laughs> But Not every now me. and again, you just want to laugh a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. I mean? It's just a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, Seeing some people's reactions as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Someone's slowly crossing the road. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> Stop running. <laughs> I can see what people say, but like it becomes a bit yeah. too much. It shakes the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know they're good bangs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and even just like there, you can tell just how torquey it is. Yeah, this I was saying to you on the drive here, it's, I think mm. the the whole driving experience of this car is dictated by how much torque it has. Yeah. Um, you don't need to be in the lowest gear, you don't need to be um, like up the up the RPM range, you can just have it a little bit lower yeah. and it, it will pull absolutely fine. Which it makes little, it those are big big underpass yeah, here. <laughs> Honestly, like in terms of like driving it, I really do like it. Yeah. Um, but like by far the longest car I've ever owned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said to you, like again on the drive here, the most I've ever owned a car is like, just around 12 months, 13 months. Mm. I've had this for 18 months now, and I have no intention whatsoever yeah. to sell it. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. No, I, I really enjoy. It. I think yeah. I think BMW really hit the nail on this because it's drivable as an everyday car. Yeah. Yeah. Also really fun and really enjoyable to yeah. drive when you're really on the limit. That's awesome. That's all about, I suppose, isn't it? No, exactly. Have a little bit more bangs. It really pushes you back into your seat as well. Yeah, well, obviously we can't do too much here. Yeah. Open road and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning, yeah. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but yeah, no, it's, that talk is, uh, again, the, the main thing you know as well as cars and talk. It makes it usable as well. Because if you're on the motorboat or something. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Like I said, you, you're you can just stick it, keep it in comfort and, and it will just pull. Yeah. Um, it makes, it, it's a different sort of feeling comfort because the shifts aren't as hard. Okay, uh, yeah. So it's sort of like a soft shift. Yeah, it's a weird gotcha. sensation yeah. because it's still pulling really hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really weird sensation. Um, but yeah, even in sport mode, you can. You can keep it in sport mode, it's not yeah. overly loud, it's not too... Gotcha, yeah, so it's, there's like levels in it, yeah. Yeah, that's good. that's good. I 
I think it's very like throttle dependent. Yeah, I think yeah. It's very throttle dependent. Yeah. <laughs> and what we were saying as well, once the tyres are heated up, it grips surprisingly well. Yeah, a, a lot of people say this. It's, it's a massive, massive like misconception that it doesn't grip yeah. and it will just. It mm. always slides and stuff like that. Once it's got heat in the tyres, it is absolutely fine. Yeah. I mean, we can actually have a little look at what the temperature is on the tyres. Ooh, uh, snazzy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. You've got 23, 25 at the back and then mm. 32, 29 at the front. So good temperature-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, front left's a little bit low, but other than that. Yeah. Because right. it is, what, 460 brake? Yeah. Got traction off. Yeah. And we're not in that hitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and we're not we're not in a hole. <laughs> yeah. Which is always a good thing in yeah. a Sunday morning. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you never want to be ending up in a pole, but <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, it's exactly like you say, it's um it does grip. Like yeah. even while we're doing twenty here, second gear, it will spin a little bit and then And then you're away. Yeah. And then you've got, and then you got them <laughs> you've got the banks. Yeah. Oh man. But um, yeah, no, it grips really well, um, and it, it's on standard size tyres. I've not increased the size of the tyres or anything oh, wow. like that. So um, it's got a lot of grip. Um, and I, th I think that's also a bit down to um, how it's mapped. Um, yeah. It, the power doesn't just come in like that. Yeah, it's sure. It's a bit more linear, um, yeah. so it allows the car to sort of grip before it does anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, what we can do is we've got a little dual carriageway here. Ooh. Yeah. We can through a couple of gears. It just goes and goes and goes, doesn't it? It doesn't stop. That's what I love about it. And you got that. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, that's right. And like I said, like, like fifth gear, we can still just roll on the power. Blimey, yeah. Yeah. Now that's 730 newton meters right there. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It makes it so usable in the yeah. real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I said this so many times, the main thing that you notice about this car when you drive it is how much torque it has. Yeah. And it completely changes how it drives. You don't have to be in third gear or in second gear all the time. You can keep up the high gears yeah. and just use that torque. It's alright. <laughs> it's mental. Absolutely mental. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to make a shoot fire. Oh! Match the paintwork. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put a GoPro back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It surprised a lot of people because not a lot of people expect like a one series to um, to be this quick. Yeah. To the untrained eye, it is yeah. just a, a low, good-looking like one series. But yeah. it's also like it's got the the figures behind it to like sort of back it up as well. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. it was like it's always good. Yeah. No, it looks proper. I can't imagine how meek it looks on the road as well. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I hope it looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's going to round up today's video, mate. This thing is an absolute weapon. No, I, honestly, I, I've only ever experienced one other M140. It had the Remus, but yeah. completely different ballpark. Yeah. Um, once standard, again, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much standard, apart from the, the exhaust. Yeah. Once again, the link to the BOTB website will be down in the description down below for you guys to go check out. You never know, you might be driving around in one of these by next week. Seriously, that's uh, that's how easy it could be, and uh, as well as twenty thousand pounds at the back, which is. 
pretty nice. It's not bad. No, not bad at all. <laughs> um, anyway, dude, thank you so much for, oh, for taking me out of the it's car. It's my pleasure, it's honestly. Uh, it's absolutely my pleasure. I, mean, I hope you liked it. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> a link to his Instagram will be down in the description as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Still to come.